Death on the Nile has been delayed six times prior to it finally being released this weekend. Is it worth the wait? Death on the Nile once again stars Kenneth Branagh as the infamous Hercule Perrault. Sorry, my French sucks. While on vacation on the Nile, Hercule Perrault must investigate the murder of a young Harris. Now, Death on the Nile has had a very interesting release date schedule. Like I said, it's been delayed more than five times. The movie was delayed heavily due to the pandemic, but then there were some issues within the cast. And Disney, who owns 20th Century Studios, just kept pushing this and kept pushing it. And I was like, this is a little alarming. As for Death on the Nile's predecessor, Murder on the Orient Express, I always thought that movie was just okay. I rewatched it and it didn't really stand out to me. So going into Death on the Nile, I wasn't really all that excited, but I was hoping that maybe it would give me some enjoyment. And in the end, Death on the Nile gave me at least some enjoyment, but I left feeling very lukewarm on it. It's just an okay movie. Similarly to Murder on the Orient Express, the characters here are pretty boring and hollow. So you have these group of characters that aren't really all that interesting. They have their couple issues that I couldn't give a shit about, which is basically the center of this movie. Couples having problems and that leading to a death. But having me not really care for any of these characters is hard because how am I then supposed to care once they get killed off? And then when talking about the characters, the performances aren't even that great either. I do want to give massive props to Kenneth Branagh though, who not only starred in this movie, but also directed it. He's the only actor in this movie that seemed like they actually wanted to be there. He gives emotion to his character, and his character does get a little bit of background in this movie, so I will say you can at least latch on to him. As for him in the director's chair, the movie looks just fine. It lacks really any flair or style, making it seem like it's a movie that anyone could have made, but it's pretty distracting the amount of visual effects and green screen there is in this movie. Like I mentioned, Kenneth Branagh's characters get some backstory, and within Kenneth Branagh getting backstory, they use de-aging techniques, which looked very odd. To me, that seems like a very easy fix. You could have just hired a new actor. And then when they're on the Nile itself, there are these distracting wide shots of like the water around them and the pyramids, and it all just looks fake. And even when the characters are on the boat, and then they have obviously nature all around them, it's very off-putting, and you just notice that's a green screen, definitely. And there's little directing choices like that that took me personally out of the movie. The first hour of this movie is a real bore. Pretty much nothing happens with all these characters except all the drama that happens leading up to the kill, which obviously is beneficial, but it was just very boring. I did find myself checking the time, seeing how much longer was left in the movie, but I will say once the murder happens, it starts to pick up a little speed. And that's what the movie left me feeling conflicted because I did not like the first hour. I really wouldn't have not given this movie a good grade at all if it was just that first hour. But then it starts to pick up a little speed and I'm like, okay, this is watchable at least. That's what makes this movie hard for me. It's like, I like the second hour and I found myself being invested and didn't know what was gonna happen next and wanting to see who the killer was, all that stuff. But the first hour, it really hurt the movie. Then once you get to the reveal of the killer, it is so painfully obvious. Without getting into spoilers, the character makes it very aware that they have some intention of causing some issues. So you really lost any of the suspense because I was just like, it's definitely them. So once the murder happens, I was pretty invested from there. And then when you get to the reveal, I dug kind of half of it. The other half was just a little too obvious. And I left this movie feeling very conflicted. It's just an okay watch. Death on the Nile is a movie that I can't recommend you going out to the theater to see but it's one that I could suggest maybe watching on a streaming service. It's definitely a one-time watch for me personally, and I can't recommend going out of your way to see it. I'm gonna give Death on the Nile a C. Overall, pretty mediocre movie, but if you've seen Death on the Nile, let me know down below what did you think of it. Thank you so much for watching this review, and if you did enjoy it, consider giving it a like as well as subscribing and hitting that notification bell to get notified whenever new videos like this go live. As always, look forward to more videos coming soon. My name is Ben, people call me Meter, and I'll see you guys in the next one.